today we are here with the award-winning MC Barber. Hey everyone, this is MC Barber. In this video, I have exciting haircut for you. It is pretty simple haircut. It's a pushback with a hard line, a kind of a volume on the front or pompadour. As usually, as you can see, I start all my uh, fades with one and a half. Uh, and it's very simple, as you can see. Uh, this technique is really a beautiful technique for fades. Uh, it creates the foundation, as you can see. Uh, really, with one stroke there, I am removing the bulk of the hair. I am uh, creating the foundation and shape for the haircut. It is very simple. It is very important that your client keeps his head up straight uh, so that you can see what you are doing as one and also the, the way you work you want to make sure that you know that you are comfortable working. So this is my first uh, step here as you can see one and a half really I almost blended the sides with the top. I don't have much work left there. Uh, that will not take much time whatsoever uh, to connect to make that transition smooth to the top. Now I'm gonna clean the edges. It is very important where you, when you work uh, that you uh, are passionate about your work, uh, that uh, you take every haircut serious. Uh, if you are there just for money, it really will not work. You will never uh, uh, be a great barber. You have to be passionate, you have to take it as an art. And only then you will feel uh, really uh, good about what you do. You will enjoy what you do. Your work will not be really work. It will be uh, basically fun. And the money comes by itself. It's money always comes as long as you do what you do. So here <coughs> we are starting our haircut with a, a taper, with a fade. As you can see, it's this is very simple. I started with uh, my edges and you know started down to zero almost. My I get questions whether my clippers are zero gap. Actually, yes, all my my clippers are zero gap. My these clippers as well as my edges. So uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the clippers that I use. Uh, these that I'm using right now, these are Wall Magic Clips. I like them, they are really nice. Uh, main reason I like them is simply because they are cordless. But they also have a nice blade on them, it's called Surgical Blade. Uh, and it, it's very nice, you can uh, gap it to zero and it really does a good job. I have two of them so when one starts getting low I actually use the other one but I actually keep one charging all the time and I use one for one haircut and I use the other one for the other haircut that way I, they are always fully charged and ready to work. Uh, my other clipper that I use, the, the, one, the first one that I use a uh, heavy duty clipper that's uh, Aster's Octane. I get questions whether I prefer that one or, or ZR from Andes. I prefer the, the Aster's. I prefer the design of it. 
Uh, it's flat. It's really it fits nice in the hand. Uh, but regarding the power, I think they're about the same. There is no really difference. It's just the shape of the clipper. And the quality, I really don't know on the long run I, which one is better, one or the other. I usually get new clippers every couple of years. So I had that one for about two years and it's still going very good. For edges, I use Andy's, uh, the, the metal ones. I'm not really too crazy about them. I think they have a horrible battery, uh, especially the something is wrong with a switch, turning them on and off. Uh, but they are, I mean, they are decent, but really not too crazy about them. So that's pretty much what I use for clippers, my heavy duty wall magic clip and uh, slim liner i believe or uh, something like that slim liner or, and this edger uh, but it's it's pretty good with exception of the bad issue with the battery that that particular particular clipper has an issue with the battery so here i am I started from zero on the bottom and I tapered up. Uh, the client doesn't really want to go down to the skin, so as you can see, it's a subtle fade. Here I'm using uh, number two on the plastic guards. I prefer plastic sometimes in this area over the de detachable metal guards because uh, plastic, you almost use them as a comb. Uh, so they, they don't push the hair away, uh, while the detachable here would actually push the hair away, you wouldn't be able to catch all the hair. Now you, I, I'm using here a technique that, I'm, that I call a thumb control technique. Uh, it's actually good to, remove excess hair that might be left behind or sometimes you might have a kind of a sharp line that you want to get, get rid of so this is actually a very good technique for that questions that I get regarding scissors uh, the scissors I'm using right now are Mizutani's uh, six and a half inch and they have a convex edge I don't use bevel edge scissors whatsoever uh, because they are just not as sharp as I need them to be. So this is convex edge. They do not limit me to anything I can do with them. Uh, you can pretty much do every single technique you want with them. Uh, the size of these scissors is six and a half. Uh, I find that six and a half inch scissors are the most ideal for barbers, especially for men. Uh, maybe female needs slightly shorter scissor because they might have a smaller hands but i think ideal scissor for barbers is six or six and a half for me personally it's six and a half i worked with seven it was a little bit too big six is slightly small for me personally six and a half is the right scissor six and a half inches is the right size i get also a lot of questions about the razor razors i use this razor that i'm using it's Tondeo is German made. It has a long blade and it's made for hair cutting. Uh, I don't I don't like this razor for shaving, especially not for edge up. It's not really designed for that, but it's an ideal for uh, hair cutting. There are a lot of razors that are similar out there to this one. Uh, Dolo has them, uh, Feather. But feather actually are not like this. They are slightly different. The blades are way too expensive. But I prefer the Tondeo over any other. Uh, the way they make them is just, they are just Mercedes of the razor. Uh, really, Dovo cannot compare to them whatsoever. Uh, I will make a review actually on this razor. I will have them available sometimes next week, I hope. I order a bunch of them from Germany, so people can you can actually get them from my website.
but of all the Tondeo razors, actually, this is their best razor. Uh, it's very sturdy. It has a very nice design. It's a solid razor. Uh, the inserts are very good. Uh, the hair doesn't get in sometimes in some of these razors. When you get them, or when I make a review on them, I'll explain what I mean by hair getting in them, and then you don't cut even because uh, the you know the way razors cut. So this is actually the best one of them. It takes long blades, as I said. So I will make a, vi a review on it, and I will have it available on my website. For blow dry, I use Babyliss. Uh, I'm not sure the model of this blow dryer, but it's the lightest one they make. It's very light blow dryer, uh, and I use it on medium heat almost all the time. And for a brush, I get question. This is YS Park Style Liner number nine. So there it is, pretty much all the tools I use. Uh, I explained this video. I like this brush in particular. There are a lot of nine nine roll brushes, but I think this one is my favorite. I tried so many of them. Uh, my coach, who's been in the industry for a very very long time, uh, has experience with so many, and for him, this is one of the best brushes. So at least fifty years of experience, and this for us is really. The brush we chose to use for the world competition this year unfortunately i promise i will have my system ready by the end of january or february i'm way behind on the videos because i'm getting ready for the world competition so i'm simply very short on time all right guys thank you for watching this is mc please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this Please put a thumbs up if you like my work. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.